Many classification schemes use taxonomies. Taxonomies are a way to order the classes into a hierarchy. This eases maintenance and reporting. For instance, cats and dogs are both pets, cows and pigs are farm animals. A taxonomy allows you to report on farm animals versus pets while also drilling into each class to see the detail. Symantria allows you to put your existing queries and categories into a hierarchical structure called a taxonomy. You can have one taxonomy per configuration. When you submit content to a configuration containing a taxonomy, the results will include the taxonomy structure for which the content matched. I will demonstrate Symantria's support for taxonomy creation and maintenance by using Symantria Web or SWeb found at online.symantria.com. Here is a taxonomy that I have created and to get here you would start from the default page here of online.symantria.com which lists all of your configurations. A new option here has been added, taxonomy, and so I will demonstrate the hotel's taxonomy here. I click on the button and it takes me back to my taxonomy which I've already created. The left pane here shows you the structure of your taxonomy while the right pane here shows the queries and categories currently available in your configuration. Since I'm in my hotel configuration based on our hotel industry pack, there are quite a few queries here on my right hand side. Each of these entries here with a triangle next to it represent a node in the taxonomy. Nodes can contain other nodes, such as these. Nodes can also contain queries or categories. Here, my water node contains a query, accommodations, bathroom, water. You can recognize it's a query because it has a Q next to it here. If it was a category, it would have a C. For a node, you can edit the name of the node here. You can delete the node, or you can add another one underneath. If you wish to add a query to an existing node, simply drag and drop the query from the right-hand side into the node on the left hand side. To remove a query from a node, press the X button next to the query. Once you have a large taxonomy, it can be hard to remember where everything is positioned, so you can search your taxonomy in this box here. I know I have a query about audio somewhere in here, and when I type audio, it tells me it's in accommodations, features, audio, and then I can delete the node, I can edit, or I can open the taxonomy tree to the node that I was searching for. Similarly, if you have a long list of queries and categories, it can sometimes be hard to find them. You can search in your list of queries and categories here. By default, searching only searches the name of the query, which is controlled by this checkbox here. For instance, if I search for audio here, I get accommodations, features, and audio. You can also alphabetically sort your query list with these arrows here. There's also infinite scrolling, so when you reach the bottom of this, it reloads and keeps scrolling through the list. I have 198 queries in this configuration. By default, we display 100, but if you get to the bottom, it will keep scrolling. The Taxonomy Manager shows you the queries and categories you already have in your configuration, but you can also quickly add a simple query from your Taxonomy Manager because you, so you don't have to flip back and forth between the Queries Editors and the Taxonomy Manager. Here, Quick Add, Quick Add a Query, you can put a name in here, Quick Query, and my query is Quick and Query. I hit Add, and it's now been added to my list and I can use it in my taxonomy. Nodes have an additional property called Parent Matching Enforced. A node that has a parent will have this icon show up here, which looks like a little paper clip. It is by default set to off. If you click this, it will turn it to on. Parent Matching Enforced means that in order for this node to match, the parent node must match as well. This is useful for creating contextual queries that can be enforced on all the children. For instance, in my features list here, I could have a parent query just about features, and then the individual minibar, kitchen, and windows, so forth, would only match on parent and matching enforced if my features query matched as well.